All right, good day, my friends, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, and yes, you out there too, my model car building buddies. We're back on the bench, and that's right, we're on the Mustang. I guess it says it in the title, I don't have to announce it, do I? Anyhow, uh, this is what the state we're at, and we're going to try and finish things up here. And if you all notice, chuck it out, chuck it out, the Mustang is in primer. I did get her primered, so that means we're going to do the pink color reveal today. And then we'll maybe install the engine, do some interior work, try and get the details finished on that. But first... But first, there is most definitely coffee. Mm-hmm. When you're going late at night like I am today, you know what? That vitamin C coffee is definitely on the list. So, my friends, in that little intro that I showed you, I got a chance to drive the 1939 Ford fire truck that they use down at the uh, Heritage Center. It's a part of their collection. A lot of fun driving that, but I tell you, man, you had to have both arms on the wheel steering that thing. I tell you, the old Armstrong steering, no power steering there, my friends, and a tight turning radius, so it was pretty tricky. Uh, grinding gears, old transmission, yeah, it was a challenge, but a lot of fun, like I said. Uh, a thing was all over the road, so you're manhandling it like crazy. But hey, today's video isn't about that. We're on the Mustang. Chuck it out. Let's see where we're at. Enough of the other blah blah blah. Let's get on to the build here. So I got my little light ring. Should have the bigger one, but I melted it. So we're gonna have. To, it's gonna be a little bit, yeah, murky. Some of the cameraing. It's gonna be dark, and being late at night. Hey, is what it is. Um, right there is work on the engine compartment here where the battery was right there I cut it out and we're gonna box all that in and that is the plan of attack I'm gonna use this piece of plastic that I got in the kit which is actually the back seat of this car so we're gonna use that for the enclosure now I did if you watch the video series I did have to narrow the shock towers and that those shock towers I cut uh, a good chunk out and narrowed it to fit that big sock engine the 427 engine and because um, it's just too wide of an engine bay now on the factory cars the real cars that they built a long time ago as the pictures here show they actually cut the shock towers out they by the looks of it they drilled out the spot welds and yeah uh, it flattened that area out just as I actually did here so this is kind of a resemblance of real life how they built them way back then is this coming in clear not really hold on I wonder if I get extra light from my camera phone Does it, maybe that's too much light now so there's a little piece that I made covering the top of that battery box now I'm not gonna I didn't hack that complete box out because that is the support and mount for the body so that will actually keep the body in place flat against the frame that's why i kept that if i hacked it out then i wouldn't have nothing to glue the frame to so let's um bu -bu 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 -bu. let's use a pointer right there so the bottom there that goes against the frame area if i hacked it then who knows if it would sit wonky or flat or not flat so i'm just gonna make one more little piece for right in there and once this all gets uh all the fords back then got a semi gloss black um, engine compartment so that's what we're gonna do on that again many many minutes later alrighty alrighty we managed to get all my pieces fit in and glued in so we're gonna let things set up I just have to clean up file around the edge just to make it flush so all of that is ready to go now that I 
also had planned to put the engine in. However, I realized that I'm going to glue the exhaust on the engine before I put the mount the engine because it could be tricky uh, putting them up through the suspension. And to space it out from the block, I just use the twist tie so it'll give that little bit. And these exhausts, wow, they fit perfect on this car. It's like this engine was made for this kit. Unbelievable. So, I'm happy where this is going, and I think we should end it for tonight. It's been long enough, late enough, so to speak. So I'll leave you with this commercial, and we'll come back tomorrow when i am got some more bench time. So, hey, see ya. back my friends it's a day or two or three or however many later <laughs> where I first started this video but we're gonna end it today hold on let's wet my whistle first um, we're gonna continue finishing not gonna make it much longer just gonna show you what color I'm gonna go today too on this Mustang builds Here's what we got. I got everything mocked up now for the final. I had to trim the dash a little bit and I'm hoping this dash should actually sit down there and, and but the roll cage is keeping it from 100% going down so I'm hoping that doesn't interfere with the windshield after. I'm gonna try and do a semi mock-up. Uh, I did detail. Look at the dash. It actually worked out pretty good. I got the chrome marker out, did some detailing there, and I did a chrome marker on my turn signal lens. Uh, just a couple small things, paint the outside of the wheel, glue it all on, and get a... It's done. That part is done. Uh, the motor, like I didn't quite finish. I'll do that tonight. I got some time. But I want to do the final. Today's video final will be on the color of this car. And we're going like this. More or less... A Le Mans blue is what I'm trying to replicate. Now you might know that Le Mans blue color is most famous on the Shelby Cobras. That's kind of the color that I really think would look good on this car, on this Mustang. I could go white, but honestly, the Le Mans blue I think suits this car really good for that era. That was very popular in Mustangs and the Shelby Mustangs back then too is, is what I think. So in saying that, I should actually also say being a transparent blue, I think I'm going to spray the body silver and then do this transparent over there. That should make it pop a little bit. You could do a white base, that, but not as good as a metallic, like a metallic silver or a metallic gold. Um, same as spraying a candy color. If you're doing candy apple red, you do a base in uh, silver metallic or gold metallic, and that makes the candy colors pop. So that is my theory on that. If you went with a black dark base, then it makes this blue much darker. But I want that to pop out, like I said, a little bit. So in saying all that, I think I'm going to do a little bit of work on this and leave you guys for a bit. And I'd, if I come back, it'll probably be the end of the video. And I'll give you a cheers because you know what? We're ditching the coffee because I got a beer in the fridge. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But I got a couple sips of this first and then we'll come back. Okay, my brothers from another mother, I think it's time. I think it's been 10 minute video, so uh, yeah, more, blah, 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 more than long enough. What have we got today? Let's do this. Uh, train wreck. Some days I do feel like a train wreck. It's a barley wine. It's made out of a wine casket. They put beer in the casket and da 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 da. So let's try it out. I like those kind of uh, casket kind of 
um, beers. They have kind of a, I guess, smoky kind of taste, usually. And this one's going to have a little bit of a wine taste, obvious. I don't know how to describe that. Wow, that's cool. Much better than that last beer I had. The last one was what creamsicle sour and or and a pine or and a pineapple sour. No, the pumpkin ale. Sorry, I had that nitro pumpkin ale and that was horrible. Mmm. This one's good though. It. Oh my God. Ten percent. Look at this. Holy Christ, I'm going to get halfway through this beer and I'll be like plastered. I didn't realize it was 10%. I can't finish this whole thing. Wow. Mm. Maybe I can finish half of it and put the rest in the fridge and tap it up. Anyways, now I'm definitely rambling. So my friends, uh, we'll end it. I've done a little bit more stuff to this, but like I said, 10 minutes already. We're going to let things dry and I'll show you next video what we did um, I'm running out of the things to do on this because I can't f do the final video till April so that means once I put paint on this uh, that's the last video you'll see of it so that means we're gonna go on to a new project probably for the Mopar hauler and I did paint the CUDA so uh, do I have a sample of the CUDA? yeah I do, why not? I said 10 minutes and now it's gonna ramble, look at this green super green wow that's bright eh you get double looks that's pretty freaking cool um and i will show you that video next time so my friends cheers until then stay awesome until then and if you made it this far thanks for watching mm. now that it's it's almost two o'clock at night again my work shifts have been going very late so now I'm used to staying up late I'd rather wake up at 4 or 5 in the morning and do this because I'm more wide eyed but today uh, but yeah but yeah okay shut up Chuck see you